Hello everybody. Um, if you've been looking for how to create and manage videos, how to share um, presentations on your laptop screen, uh, speak through your mic and then people can be able to hear what you're saying and share these videos and clips with different people around the world, even without uploading to anywhere, then today you're so lucky because I've brought a very powerful tool that can help you do this from just the screen of your laptop. You don't have to upload anywhere. You don't have to start worrying about downloading this video or whatever. But you can still be able to download the video if you want that to, you know, to be uh, something you want to do. So today I'm going to introduce you to a very powerful tool called Loom. Loom is spelled L-O-O-M. And this is a very powerful tool that allows you to work on your laptop and as well as record your screen and then share this with a lot of people uh, around the world and this works perfectly especially if you're using the google chrome but it also works on other internet uh, browsers like firefox and the rest of them so today we're going to show you how to use this tool very well and we're, we are going to navigate the tool and see how it works so my name remains richard n and i'm your hands-on guy and today you're going to learn how to use this tool to record your screen effortlessly without learning anything without installing anything you just have to install um, the, the chrome extension and then you're good to go so what is this tool we're talking about like i said before this is loom and this is the environment on loom uh, sign up for, 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 for a loom account is quite easy you just have to put in your email address and then you have to um tell them the kind of thing you want to use it for is it for personal project is it for school work in case you're a teacher and all of that so you're going to create this account depending on what you want to use it for and it's going to work for you perfectly so let's see how this is done how you could achieve this of course this is loom and you you start by creating your workspace this is my workspace you see this is nice workspace and all of that and the one thing that loom helps you to do is it helps you to invite uh members of your team uh probably let's say you maybe for instance if you're a teacher and you want other teachers to collaborate with you in making sure that the classes goes on very well so you can actually invite the teacher by entering their email here and then inviting them into and then when you invite them by putting in their email of course you can actually assign them uh, a role are they going to be admin are they going to be creator or creator light and all of that so when you invite them, they're going to come into your workspace and then they're going to be able to collaborate with you in creating the content. And then you have the notification part of this workspace, which uh, shows you everything you've been doing in the last couple of days. If you have a notification from Loom, maybe somebody commented on your video and all of that. You see, we have comments here. We have things that people shared with you. And then we have a quick overview of everything you've been, you know, all the notifications you've had here. And then if you have videos you plan to watch at a later time, you're going to find these at uh, the watch later section of your Loom account. And then we have the history, which currently shows all the videos you've watched uh, over the time being. And then you have settings, which is where you can set up your workspace and then, and then other private or uh, personal settings that you might want to do on your Loom account. So when you want to create a video on Loom, what you have to do is you come to the my library section and then when you're on my library section you're going to click on start recording now you are, you are going to see this start recording but then if you are a very fresh or maybe you are a very new user and then you want to learn how this is done of course you can say okay i want to practice and then you click on start a one minute demo this shows you how to place your mic how to set up the recording environment and then record effectively but because you might actually know how to do this already so the best thing to do is just click on start recording so now i'm currently using this one to record i'm currently using this workspace to record so i'm going to need another workspace to be able to show you how to record the video properly so that is why i'm going to switch to the next tab i think i did this on my incognito mode so i'm going to go to the next tab which is here and now that i'm here this is my second workspace and on this workspace i'm going to share with you how to do this so you see i already have videos here but this is not my focus at the moment so i just want to share with you how to record so in order to record a video you are going to be on your my library uh, uh section and then on this library section you're going to click on new video uh when you click on new video you're going to say okay when you click on new video you're going to find the recorded video and when you now when as you find the recorded video you're going to click on it 
when you click on it you're going to uh, wait for it to respond to you when it responds to you, you're going to ask you what you want to do uh, you're going to be asked you want to share the entire screen or a particular screen and then first of all it's going to shoot up your camera of course uh, but then personally, I don't like sharing my videos. So I just want to I don't like sharing my face on videos So I'm going to turn this one off. You see when I turned it off something went off at the bottom here So let me show you once again when I turn it on something's going to pop up here This is where my face would have been showing but because I blanked my camera So it's not going to show anything But if you like to show your face Of course once you turn this on it's going to show here then the one below is the, the, is the default microphone because this is going to use your laptop microphone to capture your your voice as you speak and share and then it's going to ask you if you want to share your screen of course you want to always share your full screen so that you can capture everything you do on your laptop and all of that so because i don't want this i'm going to go right away and click on start recording so when you click on start recording it's going to ask you choose what to share with www.loom.com so the site will be able to see the content of your screen of course this is what I, I mentioned earlier so what you want to do here is you want to click on entire screen and then you click on this you can actually get to share only chrome tab or only a particular window but i just want to share the entire screen and then i'm going to click on share now when you click on share it's going to count down from three to one and once it does that it's going to start recording you see now it is started recording already i have it count down from and you know i'm giving it first five minutes to be able to record whatever i want to say and then this is the recording too and this too allows you to uh, maybe stop recording when you're done with whatever you're presenting and then it allows you to also pause what you're recording and then this is your timer and then this is your i mean now this is your restart maybe maybe what you said was wrong or you feel like the video is not uh, actually coming out the way you want it to be so you can actually restart the recording process and then if you don't like the video at all of course you can actually use the cancel uh tool to to like stop everything and then you know like delete what you recorded so far so this is how this works and then one thing i also like about this entire thing is that you can actually create new folder here like i can say okay you can call this uh class recordings and that means whatever i record here i can choose to take videos into the class recording you see like this video that's existing here i can actually decide to move it i can say okay move when i say move it's going to ask me where do i want to move it and i can say okay class recording and of course it's going to be moved to class recording you see that video is off from my main library it's now on the on the folder called class recording and that is the way this one uh, actually works i'm currently on a trial version so if you really want to enjoy the full features and everything about loom you're going to ensure you you know you sub i mean you upgrade to the premium fashion to so you can actually get more features and it allows you to do more than just the basics with your videos and so this is one of the most powerful uh screen recording script capturing uh, feature i mean tool on the internet at the moment and i would like you to uh to really uh get, get on board and then enjoy it don't forget that if you want to really move your video into a photo you have to do is you come here these three horizontal dots here and you can actually come to it and you can click on move and then when you click on move you're going to find the folder you've created you see this is my main library but, I, but the video is actually on my main library but i want it to be on the class recording so i can click on it here then i can click move once i've done that you know the video is going to be moved and then that is the way that works and then because i am done now i'm going to stop recording and then how do i stop recording is on this tool you're going to click on stop recording or finish now when you click on finish the video you recorded is going to um react of course it's going to be uploaded into the loom uh workspace and then after a few seconds the video will be live and open for you to be able to use to do whatever you want to do you can choose to download it you can choose to share it now let me show you how you can share the video from loom to people you can actually click on these three horizontal uh, dots here and then you can see we have here we have the downloads but they are not open to me because i'm on the free or trial version you can delete the video you can achieve it you can duplicate of course you can move to a list or whatever then how do you share the video to share the video of course you need to click on share when you click on share you're going to see the various ways through which you can share of course you can share uh, by you know like say through the link you can share by sharing to twitter so you can share to linkedin you can share on facebook you can share on you know on gmail 
And as is, we can only share with this also. You can also embed it maybe into a website or whatever. So you can just you can just copy the embed code and it will be copied or it will be embedded into a website or whatever. So let us see how we can share copying the link. So this is just the link to our video. We can actually copy this up and then when we copy it, we can come here. We can paste the link we copy right here and when we hit enter we can be able to view the, the video recording we made so if we share this link with our friends or family or colleagues at the office they're going to be able to view what we uh, shared with them which is a video and then if we choose to share through social media what we have to do is to click on okay you want to share through linkedin and you can click on linkedin if you want to share to twitter you can click on share to twitter and then if you want to share on facebook of course this is what you're going to do and so that is how you can get to uh do anything you want to do on loom and that is just it so i'm going to go back to my main environment and i'm going to encourage you if you're still new uh to uh, you know to creating videos from your screen if you want to share your screen i think loom is one of the best tools you're going to find out there on the internet so don't forget my name my my name remains richard n and this is my youtube channel where i share uh, a lot of uh, hands-on tools uh that you're going to need for your day-to-day -day activities at the office and all of that so please feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel and encourage your friends and your colleagues to watch my youtube channel as it has very very awesome videos that are going to be very beneficial and helpful to you so thank you for watching today remember subscribe share like and interact with our videos to help us reach more people thank you very much i'll see you next time